Hello and welcome to each one of you this new session of online lesson. Without further ado, let's begin. Today we are going to look at logic gates part 3, producing logic circuits. So in order to know how to produce logic circuit, we need to firstly know about the binary value of input. The binary value of input is very important when producing logic circuits. If the value of the input is 1, then a straight line is drawn from the input to its corresponding gate. If the input is 0, then the NOT gate should be inserted between the input and the corresponding gate. So whenever we have a 1, it should go as a straight line. If you have a 0, it should go with a NOT gate to its corresponding gate. So let us look at, uh, look at examples of how to draw logic circuits. So we have a question from May June 2015, paper 1 to question 6. So a gas fire has a safety circuit made of logic gates. It generates an alarm x equal to 1 in response to certain condition. And this x is generated under the following condition. So gas pressure is correct and carbon monoxide level is too high or carbon monoxide is correct and gas leak is detected. So here we have to find out the associated binary values of the different inputs. So the first binary value that we have is x is equal to 1. So a straight line will be drawn from its corresponding gate to x. Next part, we have to find out about the binary value of g. So gas pressure is correct. If gas pressure is correct, the binary value is 1. So g equal to 1. The next part is carbon monoxide is too high. So carbon monoxide is too high. The value is 0. So C will be equal to 0. Next part, carbon monoxide is correct. The value is 1. So C is equal to 1. And gas leak is detected. Gas leak is detected. The value of L should be 0. So in this situation, we we'll have to draw our logic circuit. So g equal to 1, meaning that it means that we have to draw a straight line to its corresponding gate. And the gate that it is connected to is an AND gate. It has been specified in the question itself. So a straight line to an AND gate. And this AND gate, second input is carbon monoxide is too high, that is c equal to 0. So whenever we have the value c equal to 0, we need to have a NOT gate in between the gate it, it is going to be connected and the input. So we're going to have NOT c going to this AND gate. This and this combination of gate, this combination is connected itself to an OR gate. And this OR gate will give us our output x. And what is the second input of this OR gate? It's carbon monoxide is correct, so the value of C, C will go a straight line to an AND gate, straight line to an AND gate, and gas leak is detected, this is value 0, so L will be not L and C. And this is connected to our OR gate that we have previously drawn. Next example, October, November 2018, paper 1 to question number 3. So here, again, we have a situation whereby a greenhouse uses a system to monitor the condition that plants need to grow. The input of the system are as follows. So it will generate an alarm X when the window is closed and the temperature is greater than 26, or temperature is less than 26 and humidity is greater than 50%. So when the window is closed, our value should be zero. So the value will be equal to zero. Temperature greater than 26. This means that T will have a value of 1. T is equal to 1. Temperature less than 26. This means that the value of T is zero. So T will be equal to zero. Humidity greater than equal to 50. This will mean that the value of H will have a value of 1. So as I said earlier, all values that are zero have to go to an NOT gate first before going to its corresponding gate. All values 1 have a straight line to its corresponding gate. So here we have W equal to 0, so we need to have a NOT gate 
and this NOT gate will go to an AND gate as specified in our question. And the second input of this AND gate is T, and T is equal to 1, so this will be a straight line straight in our AND gate. And this gate is connected to an OR gate, an OR gate which will give the output X. And the second input of this OR gate is temperature is less than 26, so T is equal to 0, so we're having NOT T connected to an AND gate. And we're going to have H. So value of H is 1. This will be a straight line to our AND gate. And this output will be connected to our OR gate to give our final diagram. Next question. So May, June 2016, paper 1, 2, question 7b. Here we have been given a logic statement. And we need to use this logic statement to draw our logic circuit. So here it's much easier to draw the diagram since everything has been given to you in detail. In the previous two questions we had to find out the values of the binary numbers, the binary values of the inputs. Here the binary value has been given to you directly so you can draw the diagram much more quickly. So A is equal to 1, this is a straight line connecting to an OR gate and B is equal to 1, again a straight line connecting to the same OR gate. So we have a straight line to an OR gate and the value of B, straight line connected to the OR gate. And this will be connected to an AND gate, so AND gate here. And uh, the second value of this AND gate should be A is 1 and B is 1, so the value is straight line from A to an AND gate, a straight line from B to an AND gate. So it's both straight lines to an AND gate, and this will be the second input of the AND gate we mentioned earlier. And this is going to be connected to an OR gate. This, this combination of gate will be connected to an OR gate, so it has been connected to this OR gate. And the second input of this OR gate is C is not 1, so we are going to have a NOT gate from the input C, which will be connected to our last NOR gate. So next example, October, November uh, 2016, paper 1, 2, question 7, B, first part. So again, we have a logic statement with the different binary values given to you for the inputs. So it's very straightforward. So A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 1. So both will have a straight line going to an AND gate. Straight line from A, straight line from B, going to an AND gate. Or, so this output will go to an OR gate. This goes to an OR gate. And the second input of this OR gate is not B and C. So we're going to have a NOT gate connected to the input B going to an AND gate and the second input of this AND gate will be a straight line from C and the output of this AND gate will connect to our OR gate we have drawn earlier. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like the video please subscribe, click on the thumbs up and leave a comment on how the channel can be improved. Until then, see you guys next time.